Brazil walked away with its second World Cup title, winning it by a four-ride margin. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. From the very first round, the 2010 World Cup was owned by the boys from Brazil. And by the time it was all over, Brazilian riders had finished first, second, and third in the overall average. Guilherme Marchi led the way, riding five of six bulls for 432 and a half points, the most on the weekend. None of them was enough to win a round outright, but consistency ruled the day, and Marchi is nothing if not consistent. His teammate Renato Nunes finished second overall, covering four of six bulls, including a big 90 and a half on paycheck in round one. In fact, Nunes won rounds 1, 3, and 4, and clinched the win for Brazil in round 6 with 89.5 points on Sooner Shaker. The win tied Brazil with the United States with two World Cup titles apiece, and the four-ride margin of victory was the largest in World Cup history. Team USA came in second, but still managed to post some glittering scores on the weekend. McKinnon Wimberly, riding with a back injury, managed to win round 2 with 90 and a quarter points on Hank. And the U.S. absolutely dominated round five on Sunday, taking the top three spots. Travis Briscoe led the way with a 90 and a quarter on mission accomplished. Ryan McConnell followed it with a big 89 and three quarters on checkout. And Mike Lee, who hadn't even been named to the team until a week ago, took third in the round with an 89 and a quarter on class six cat. Team Australia took the third spot overall, their best finish in four years of the World Cup competition. Jared Farley's 89 and a half on mission accomplished in round two highlighted their efforts. And Brendan Clark, who was a late addition to the team, covered two of six on the weekend. Team Canada finished fourth, their worst showing in four years. Part of that had to do with losing their anchorman Aaron Roy on Saturday with a possible facial fracture. But overall on the weekend, the Canadians covered just four of 30 bulls. And in last place, once again, was Team Mexico. Despite Rocky McDonald's 89 and a quarter on foolish pride in round one, the perennially struggling Mexican team ended up with just three rides on the weekend. You can catch all the highlights from the fourth annual World Cup right here at PBR.TV. In the meantime, we're back to the good old Built Four Tough series this weekend when the PBR rolls into Billings, Montana for the Nile Invitational presented by Cooper Tires. We'll have a preview later this week. And an update on our television coverage. For the next few weeks, we'll be getting around the Stanley Cup playoffs by broadcasting on Versus at 4 p.m. Eastern on the weekends. It's a consistent time that's easy to remember, and you won't have to stay up into the wee hours. Thanks for watching. For the PBR, I'm Crystal Matthews.